Hello and welcome to Question Time. I'm Omkar Goswami. Nine years after the project was initiated, the skyline of Bombay has finally changed. We now have a world-class flyover. It's much more than a flyover. It's a ceiling from Bandra all the way to Worli. And even though it turns into Worli with a ridiculous 90 degree turn, it is something to behold. My guest runs the company that made this wonderful change in the skyline. Meet Ajit Gulabchan, Chairman and Managing Director of Hindustan Construction Company. Ajit, thank you very much for being on the show. Hi, Omkar. Red Letter Day, man. Great, yes. How did it feel after nine years, so many specs changes, all the things that happened, how did it feel when it opened to traffic? Well, it was a special day for all of us at HCC. We have been able to build this beautiful bridge, which is also extremely useful for the commuters in Mumbai. But what is, what is also special about the bridge is not only a challenging bridge to build because it's in the sea, it is also because it's the first beautiful structure the government has built in Maharashtra since independence. Every other lovely structure was built by the British. So that- Is that true? You, know, you, take a, you take a look around, you show me a government building or a government built structure that's as lovely. Well, you may well be true, actually. Yeah, yeah. But tell me something, why did it take? I mean, one of the things, while everyone rejoiced at it, the editorials rightly said that in the same period, China has built many, many of these and it takes half or even one third the time to do constructions like this in China. Why has it taken so long, nine years? Well, I think we can build that, it that fast too. And when you take a real look at this bridge, you will find that the real clearances to move on with the bridge came only around 2003. So which so means that really talking, the first three years were lost. So we are really talking about building this bridge in five, five and a half years so far. So if you look at that, then even we really can do them in three years. Oh, no, tell me what do you mean by the real clearances came? Because the no, contract no, originally the, was awarded in no, 2000. No, 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 no. The basic point is the contract was open to bid by 2000. Mm -hmm. By the time they even thought of bidding, the government changed. And they brought about some changes in the, uh, specification. In the specification. Based on that, we didn't sign the contract till a year later. After that, they were still sorting out the issues with the environmentalist and fishermen, who then demanded, and then the high court gave a ruling, how, how big the gap should be for the fishermen to be able to go through it. And all this took a long time to settle down. Then there was a question of, redesigning the bridge because the alignments changed. Because the alignments changed, the consequential changes had, had to be carried out. And those consequential changes involved design changes. Those involved construction method changes. So with a whole host of these things happening, by the time you could actually seriously get down to work, was not till about 2003, 4. And here, a lot of equipment was mobilized and was sitting idle for a good period of time. So I'm going to come. Tubar.com.